everybody it's Christina Dennis and it is transformational okay I've got to make sure I look the right way transformational Monday mindful Monday and I am in here talking about all things empowering and taking care of yourself hello Julie and uh, thanks for joining in I want to talk a little bit about how everybody's feeling on Monday and how hard it is to uh, stop the crazies, um, especially on the holidays. I spent the weekend on my little chicken job that I go to, and I um, I enjoyed it. It was interesting. Hi, Jenna. And it, it was fascinating to watch how the anxiety is rising because of the holidays and what's coming up. And I totally got it. I watched so many different perspectives of people running out, and I just kept feeling like, Oh gosh, a week has gone by. That's what I discovered this weekend when I checked my calendar and it said December 7th. And I thought, wait, how, how is it December 7th? It was just December 1st. And now I have officially 16 days to, um, to get Christmas together. And what I had to do this morning, because I woke up and I had bloodshed eyes. It just worked, you know, 40 hours and four days. And... Uh, getting prepared for the week and not losing sight of the things that I want to get done, which is, you know, working with people, filling myself up, filling my cup up, taking care of myself. How am I going to get it all done? And I practice what I always preach as I took a few minutes um, to decompress, to get back into my body, to meditate. I did my 10 minutes of priming and then I reserved judgment of how I felt uh, what I was feeling, how um, much I had to do, I reserved judging it and started observing it and becoming a lot more curious about why I might feel like I have to get so much done. And I had to decide very quickly this morning, uh, because I had someone coming over, what was most important and what, what could be pushed off. And I'm not sure if I did that right, but I did it as right as I could. And that's what matters. And I managed to get a call in to a government agency about my son's benefits. That's never pleasant. And then I spent four hours uh, talking to women um, who were from all different age groups who could discuss. I mean, we sat down, we just talked about all of our perceptions about life and how hard we are and the fine line between self-care and rest because you're overworked and you've done too much and you want to stretch yourself to get out of your comfort zone which is super important but you don't want to stretch yourself till you snap and it's such a hard line for me to ride and um so what i i had to do was you know realize i value connection above um production. And so my friends that came over, the ladies who came and we sat and talked, I was able to really connect with them on a different level and realize, yeah, I, I could fill my day with a ton of to-do lists and I could, hi, thank you. I could fill my day with a ton of to-do lists and I could, um, you know, I could find a bunch of things to hang my hat on as far as stuff I got done, or I can just sit here and listen and trust that everything that I need to get done will get done. And that is so true. Um, you know, we all pretty much can handle things. We just don't have to do it at the you know, break, breakneck speed that, um, you know, is getting pushed in our direction. So even though I had a lot to do, I went and got a manicure. And I last time I got a manicure was my 50th birthday. So that was... Uh, August 31st. So I was due for a little chit chat and a little self care and to do something. Now, none of this is going to get me closer to my goals in the long run, but it opened up me emotionally and allowed me to just take a breath and realize yeah, Christmas is around the corner, but I don't have to buy into the hysteria. Um, my tree is up. It looks janky as an mf -er, I'm telling you. It looks so bad, but I haven't juiced it. Um, and I'm thinking that if I juice it today, you know, get all the little branches straight, that it's going to be killer 
by the time I have my first Christmas party, my only Christmas party, I'm acting like I'm, you know, a Rockefeller here, my only Christmas party on the 18th. And that's my, that's my end goal and presents by the 25th and only to four or five people. I love, uh, you know, last night I received a gift from a coworker at the Costco sampling job and it was just a momentum and uh, memento. And I, I had a second where I thought, oh, I have to return this and I have to up it. I mean, I'm going to be totally transparent. Not only am I going to return the gift, but I'm going to up the ante and give her a better gift. And then I realized, oh, thank God for clarity. Thank God for true relationships. Thank God for uh, taking a minute. I don't need to get her a gift. She doesn't need anything. I could do something really nice for her in January to celebrate the new year. And that's kind of what I'm deciding um, now is that I will spend as much time with loved ones as I can during the holidays. I will spend a good 30 minutes a day moving toward things I want in my life in the long run, like a speaker, um, a speaking career about special needs mamas and resilience and what we have to do in order to show up for ourselves and our children and everyone else, but not give our lives away. I want to be able to talk about that and speak about that from uh, different platforms. And I want to have a strong relationship with my honey and good relationships with friends and, you know, running around, getting myself tied up into knots isn't going to get me there. So I'm going to spend about 30 minutes a day this week, maybe a little longer, depending on what opens up, moving myself toward the things that are going to feed me in 2020. And realizing that I can show people an appreciation without running around crazy trying to purchase gifts for, you know, let's be honest, most adults really don't need anything. Um, and if they do uh, need something, then I kind of like the ability to give it to them throughout the year. And so I will let everybody know how Christmas decorating goes. And I hope that everyone out there who watches this Mindful Monday uh, takes about five minutes to figure out exactly what's going to be important to them for the next couple of weeks um, and prioritize that. For me, it's going to be sanity and self-care and being present with people. And um, if I want to show appreciation, I think I could do it in the new year and not put myself through all of this frenzy. I'm going to be kind to myself. I'm going to insulate myself because the general consciousness, the collective consciousness of the at least in the United States, is very heightened during this time of year. So those were the thoughts I have for Mindful Monday. Uh, please feel free to jump on in if you'd like me to say anything in the future or talk about any subject. And I just want to wish everybody a very relaxed, maybe not relaxed, maybe you don't want to be relaxed, it's up to you, but a very mindful week in regards to where you want to spend your focus and energy this time of year. So love to everybody. Everybody have a great time and uh, I'll check back in later. Bye.